back at you with another video from 80s Nut. Today's video is of the Sony WM-F57, which is this unit right here. It's a really cool unit. Compact for its time. Made in Japan. Uh, auto reverse, direction control. They've really, really added a bunch of different features within this small unit. So they filled it up as much as they could. Built-in speaker on the cassette door. Had a small window there to still be able to visually see the uh, reel on the cassette. You won't be able to see both reels, but you can see one one of the reels. Um, has your jack for uh, DC uh, voltage. Um, headphone jack, obviously. Has loop direction control right here. Uh, this one has the Dolby switch. Now, there's a whole lot of confusion with, uh, with this particular unit because they had exactly the same model number. There's no difference, no extra dashes, nothing. Exactly the same model number. One of them had Dolby and one of them did not. So, about five and a half months into this unit, they... Sorry, five and a half months into this unit, so this is the one without the Dolby, and the, if you look good, right below where it says Walkman, this one has the Dolby logo, that one does not. In the back here, oh, it's going to be very hard to see, shoot, uh, oh, you know, if I hold it like that, there's your Dolby licensing, and the trademark there, this one just has an empty spot where that is supposed to be and uh, this one also had a sticker shows the model number and they're made in Japan and everything else this one there is uh, stamped okay so other than that there are no other differences between the two they both came out the same year one of them came out mid-year um, so this is the one that came out mid-year, the one with the Dolby. does have a removable belt clip. Uh, the tuner does have a switch for the DX and local. does have metal and uh, CR2 capable. So it has a switch to be able to control that. little light indicator lets you know that your power is on. I wouldn't really call that a battery level indicator because it's just the red little tiny LED um, and then you have a switch to control right there to control the built-in speaker or headphones um, I would have guessed that they would just be able to put in the headphone and shut off the front speaker but it doesn't work that way you actually have to switch it off and on mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much it for this particular one uh, it's, it's actually rather heavy for a plastic unit that's I'm assuming because of all the features they added in this particular model it's a good looking good looking uh, Walkman and, uh, great unit to have in the collection well I will talk to you guys later thumbs up and subscribe if you have any questions let me know